In order to get this video started uh, about the uh, upgrade on my Dell uh, Alienware Area 51 computer, the first thing I have to do is I have to give a shout out to FedEx for leaving my brand new 34 inch Alienware monitor where every package thief on the planet could possibly see it. So I'd like to give you guys a good thank you. So thank you so much for leaving this shit where anybody who has a truck or a car could possibly steal my big fucking 34 inch monitor. Thank you very much for leaving it out where everybody in the world could possibly walk onto my lawn and steal my shit. Thank you very much. You could have walked your ass all the way to my backyard and you could have put it next to my Hellcat or something. But no, you put it in the front fucking yard. Thank you very so much. Long story short, I told you uh, to be sure to tune in for my monitor upgrade. Now, there were some people who, you know, they said, um, you know, there were other monitors I could have gone with. Like, for instance, there was a Samsung 49-inch uh, monitor that was pretty much about the same price as the Alienware monitor. Thing about it is, I like my shit to match. So, the Samsung monitor, even though it looked cool, like, as if you were on, like, the Star Trek Enterprise, it was so fucking big. I went with the Dell Alienware 34. Now, hopefully, well, I, you know, I really don't see monitors getting that much bigger than this because the thing about it is really you're sitting at a desk, you're right in front of it. So for the most part, you know, you know, there's there's like a limit to how big these goddamn things actually have to be because, you you know, you're at a desk. So um, I'm going to get this thing all hooked up and uh, I'm going to roll it, you know, so um. Yeah, so basically, let, let's see what it looks like out of the box. Let's figure out how to open this box up. I don't want to damage the box because it's such a nice box. But uh, let's figure this out. I don't think it slides out, but we'll figure it out in a second. Here it is. I had to take out those little tags. Oh, it comes upside down, and you have to mount this son of a bitch. So, got some equipment right here. Yeah. The instructions are it has a shield or something on the back. It comes with these couple of pieces and some monitor cables and some of this and some of that. And you plug it into your thing. So let's see what that looks like. Comes with the uh, drivers and utilities. Who the hell needs that anymore? We got Windows 10, bitches. Power cord. Comes with uh, div. Uh, this is um, div. What's this called? Di display port. It's kind of one display port. It also comes with a. Uh, what is that? Um, I think this is uh, mini HDMI. I could be wrong. I forget. Oh no no no! That's like Thunderbolt or something. And then this one right here is the USB 3.0. Most likely it has its own ports on it. So here's the stand. Well, here's the panel actually. And once again, the reason why I like this panel was because this panel has the Alienware theme. So I had to go with that because it has the appropriate theme for my supercomputer. So I was really excited to get this. The triad theme. I, I have to say, like a lot of people criticize Dell for the price. But I have to say, their products are more stylish and less expensive than Apple's equivalent. If you tried to get a Core i9 anything right now from Apple, it would cost you no less than about $8,000 to $10,000. Meanwhile, the equivalent computer that you get from Dell, Alienware, about $4,000 to $5,000. Now, that's not a whole lot less. But, but you really think about it. If you're one of these YouTube gamers who games... As a, uh, as a as a job, you know, it actually makes a lot of sense for you, you know. But this is this is not some everyday shit for everyday people. These things are fucking expensive. But like, if you're a YouTuber like I am, and you've got YouTube paying your bills and shit, like if you think like if you're like Marquise Brown Lee or somebody, stuff stuff like this is nothing, you know. Like I'm still doing two thousand dollars a month on YouTube. 
So buying a computer like this, I mean, you figure it only took me like what, like two months or something to save up for. And I'd also like to say this, if you were paying attention to my uh, cryptocurrency videos, right now you should be very happy with me for getting you into Storequa. And I think I'll probably make a video about Storequa a little bit later. And I'll probably use this monitor to do it. But um, I've been getting emails and I've been getting texts from people who are very happy that I put them in Storequa or I suggested that they get Storequa because most of them have never heard of it. And uh, we'll talk about the price of Storequa and some of the other cryptocurrencies that I'd suggested to you. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But um, yeah, so far my investment advice has been on point. I'm actually very, very impressed with myself. Get this monitor mount. Uh, I plan on um, streaming, game streaming. I plan on game streaming like uh, this summer. I don't know what games I'm going to be streaming, but I do plan on game streaming. So, um, you know, I, I just felt like getting a nice new upgrade, and I'm probably going to have that computer probably about four or five years before technology gets old because it, you know, it's so powerful. I, I wouldn't need anything else anytime soon. All right. It's got a nice, hefty, hefty panel. Look at this shit. Wow. It's got a nice, hefty panel at the side. All right. Yeah, this this will, this will stay straight. This will stay straight. It's got the LED triad lighting. All you basically have to do is mount the display. This is the display right here. Ooh, Alienware logo right there. I don't know if that's the power button. Maybe it's not. Okay. All right. All I got to do is mount this bad bastard. Let's mount All this. of the buttons are on the underside of the panel. So this is most likely the power button. And then you have a set of buttons right here. Now the Alienware Control Center allows you to customize the colors that are displayed on the chassis and on the monitor. So as you can see right here, you've got four USB 3.0 ports. You have one port that goes to the computer. You have one HDMI and you have one display port. And you have the power. Okay, so basically those are all the ports. It also has the headphone jack directly underneath the center, as you can see. So it's a standard, uh, I think that's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Look at this thing. This thing's fucking awesome. I love it. I, I love it already. I haven't even plugged the shit in. And I this like. is the mounting bracket. And right here, this is the cable management. So I basically have cut down the number of cables that I have to just four cables. The USB ports on the back of the computer are what I can use to plug in the actual, um, what's it called, the keyboard okay, mouse. So here's the Core i9 itself, and now I'm about to inaugurate, just like I did with the keyboard and mouse, about to inaugurate my beautiful new Alienware 34-inch monitor. Now, not complaining, but I kind of wish that they had like something bigger but um i mean you know 34 inches is okay but um you know if they had something bigger i definitely would have gone with something bigger like because samsung i mean they're they have a uh, what is it called samsung has a uh 49 inch monitor i don't know why they didn't just hit at 50 but they've got a 49 oh shit jesus christ look at that now the reason why i didn't mind getting rid of of the 19 inch, the three 19 inch monitors I have, which although they give you more space, the simple fact of the matter is I kind of didn't like wasting electricity. So there'd be some times when I'd have the third monitor just basically sitting there idle. And I kind of felt that that was a little bit of a waste of energy. So basically I have my mouse keyboard. I also have the Satec X45 joystick for when I practice uh, flying or whatever. I've got the Satec X45, but I didn't hook that up yet. Um, that plugs in, I think, through like one USB port, if I'm not mistaken. Of the Alienware monitor, as you can see, the colors back here can be customized just like the keyboard can be customized, just like the chassis can be customized, which I'll show you in a minute. Some people, you know, have already seen this. Some people actually own this system. A lot of people have bought the system because this is probably one of the best gaming 
uh, chassis you can buy unless you really decide to build your own. But I didn't want to do that. As you can see, my uh, keyboard has been customized to glow in the dark colors. I got my WAS and D is red. I got my red uh, arrow keys and I got my orange numbers or yellow numbers or whatever. Okay, this thing, wow. Holy smooch, look at that. So let's go straight to the Alienware customizer because I want to see what I can do with the back. Yeah, look at look at that. That's a lot of screen real estate. Now, 34 inches, you know, most people aren't really sitting that close to these freaking, yeah, but see, the one thing that was I kind of liked about the 19 inches is that when you had the 19 inch, you could on every single channel or on every single panel, I should say, you could have something just a little bit different on every single panel. But this, I think, should be pretty nice. I think this is going to be very, very nice. So the Alienware Control Center is right here. So basically, um, as you saw, I showed you already how you could uh, update things on the monitor. And, well, not the monitor, but the keyboard and the mouse. I think I already showed you that yesterday. In fact, instead of playing with that, let's see what a game looks like here. Now, mind you, I'm recording on my iPhone uh, X. So let me see if Unreal Tournament will start up. <laughs> Unreal Tournament. It's like of all the games I could pop. I, I have Arma 3 and everything in here. Oh, fuck it. No, no, no. I got Crisis. I got Crisis. I play Crisis with... Uh, the settings at ultra so wait where's Cri oh yeah i gotta go to steam first i forgot can't launch it like this you gotta you gotta go to steam first that's a hell of a lot of screen real estate and this is a damn nice it's a damn nice monitor take a picture of that yeah this is a damn nice monitor and a hell of a lot of screen real estate and i'm pretty sure that over a long period of time i'm gonna save a little bit of energy because i'm not running three monitors simultaneously I actually have a fourth 19-inch monitor, but the thing about it is I never plugged it in because the problem is now you need a desk that's a lot bigger. So for this space that I have this computer in, um, I didn't opt to do that. And uh, I think during the summer what I'm going to do is the Xbox One X, I'm going to plug that into this computer so that I can run uh, game streaming. And I really should have been streaming, say, State of Decay, or basically what I'm going to do is the next big game that comes out that people are uh, big on uh what i'll do is i'll get that game and that'll be the game that i'm streaming let's hope that oh fuck i, for, I always forget these damn things uh shit Ten, was it zero nope fuck uh i think i remember it oh my god i don't remember it Okay, wait, wait, let me figure this is two, so I figure I might as well just show you a little bit, because, you know, most people, are, I, I, I like Crisis 2 a lot, and um, I, I think I ordered the entire Crisis system, I don't remember any of this shit, let me just put fucking, I, I could resume where I left off, and I know I'm going to have to turn the settings up in order to adapt to this monitor specifically, which was part of the reason why I did want a gaming monitor, it's because I wanted, um, I didn't like the, the splits in the 19-inch monitors that I had. So those three monitors, stretching it didn't look as good. So let's uh, hit that escape. Let's go to ops. What is this? Uh, graphics. Okay, so let me turn everything up. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. This is Crisis 2. The current changes have been applied. Yes, I would. Every setting is on ultra or maximum. We're running the shit out of this game. Look at this. Ooh, that's nice. I may have to change my uh, mouse. I may have to change my mouse sensitivity just a little. Look at the graphics on this shit. Look at that. I don't even remember uh, what buttons. I, I think reload is R. Yeah, let's go shoot somebody in the fucking... Oh, I can't. I'm supposed to run with... Uh, what is it? W... Oh, you know what? Now I remember the reason. Oh, I cloaked. No, you know what I remember? What it was was cloak engaged. So anyway, what I remember was I was playing this using this. Um, I was using a control uh, Wi-Fi control system for my uh, Xbox controller. So basically, I uh, if I were to play this, I real let's just walk around just a little to see who's here. Who, who okay, shoot one of these bastards in their face. Let's see. Is there anybody to kill? I, I, I normally I play these games with my uh, controller unless I'm playing uh, multiplayer.
keyboard's good, but sometimes I like using the controller. Bottom line is, as you can see, picture looks fucking absolutely beautiful. But you know, Crisis 3 is an older game. So let's take a look. Oh shit. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look at a different game, in fact. It looks great, though. This is a really freaking nice curved monitor. It looks beautiful. We're watching one of these beautiful homemade movies with uh, actress Mia Khalifa. Um, as you can see, with this curved monitor, the uh, picture quality looks absolutely fabulous. And because of the curved screen, it brings out the texture in Mia Khalifa's um, beautiful skin and glasses and whatnot. And you can also see that the male character in this video, this fine homemade film, um, as you can see, the colors are beautiful and the textures are lovely. Like PUBG in 1080p or 4K, 1440 or 2160, this is pretty much what you can expect. Now granted, I'm using my iPhone rather than a video capture, because to tell you the truth, once you upload to YouTube, I don't really even think it matters. But uh, this monitor is a great gaming monitor. And you know, although I do wish that they had like a 42 inch, to tell you the really honest truth, when you're sitting this close to the monitor, you kind of don't need that much size. You don't need this thing to be 50 inches. You know, I have a 50 inch uh, regular television. And uh, the Alienware monitors are pretty much the best monitors that you can get right now on the market. Now, granted, there's newer ones that have, you know, 240 frames per second and higher and everything. But most video cards can't even handle that when you're doing 4K gaming. So I'm pretty sure when the new Fallout game comes out, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to enjoy playing Fallout on this monitor more than my 50-inch uh, bedroom television with my Xbox. I'm pretty sure about that. So, uh, so far, everything looks pretty good. And um, I'm enjoying my uh, Alienware Area 51, and I thoroughly recommend it. So basically, this is like a review of the monitor itself. I like the connections. I like the size of the monitor, the heft of the monitor. It feels very well weighted on the desk. I like the, the cable management that they put together. I think Dell has done a really good job with this series of computers. I'm very, very, uh, very excited and impressed to have this product.